Hello. Yeah, no. Hey, welcome back to my channel. So, I want to do a, um, just a chat about how I grew my hair. Um, so the picture, so the picture that's on my thumbnail right now um, was a picture that I took two, a little bit over two years ago before I deployed. And I'll put a picture up here somewhere um, just so you can see it. Um, and this is my hair length now. So the first picture I had like um, lines drawn on my shirt so that way I could keep track of my progress as my hair grew. Um, so like I said, I took that picture right before I deployed to Afghanistan. So I'll tell you the journey from two years ago in Afghanistan to how my hair grew to past bra strap length. Um, before it was like way above um, bra strap length and now my hair is a little bit below bra strap length. So if you want to see how I grew my hair, just keep watching. <laughs> so when I, right before, so okay, let me see. So right before I went to Afghanistan, I already had a process of on how to take care of my hair. You know, I was co-washing every every two to three days washing my hair with shampoo once a week i did a deep condition though but i washed it with sh a shampoo and conditioner once a week did the protein once a month you know i already knew all that i sealed my ends i did all that it just took a long time for my hair to grow, grow. and then when i deployed afghanistan um i felt like my hair had a bit of a setback because the water that we used there was you could tell it was chemically treated because it dried the crap out of my hair. My hair was dry. It was so dry to the point where like my edges started balding just a little bit because of the of whatever was in there. And the reason they chemically treated the water was obviously just to make sure that we were using fresh water to shower for everything. So um so my hair kind of had a set back. I was balding a little bit. My hair was still growing because I was still relaxed my hair. Even over there, I was still relaxed my hair um, every two and a half, every two and a half to three months. I perm my hair there. Um, and even then that was, um, that's what contributed to the hair drying because not only am I chemically treating my hair, but the water was chemically treated. So my hair was drying out. I could, I definitely could tell that it was growing because I would flat iron it there. But then when I came back here, back to the States after my deployment, my, my hair looked and felt so bad. So I got it trimmed. I got it trimmed like a lot when I was, um, when I got back here, I got it trimmed about two, three inches and I don't have much pictures that tracks the progress of my hair because from deployment, you know, coming back, um, my focus was not my hair. You know, even though I wanted to grow, I was not taking pictures of my hair to track how long it was growing. Um, so, um, so yeah, so it wasn't until about a year ago, that's when I started like, looking at what I can do to better care for my hair. So what I definitely realized that was that was missing from my hair regimen slash growing progress um, was deep conditioning. I did not deep condition. I didn't deep, I, I didn't deep condition like ever. Um, and it, it was a point where the, the my the hair salon lady was like, hey, you have to come back regularly because your ends are always just so dry. So I started deep conditioning and when I went back for my hair to be trimmed, um, I believe in November, she didn't even want to trim any because it was just so healthy. So what honestly contributed to my hair growing from two years ago in which it was like, Sort of, sort of being damaged to now was just deep conditioning and I do have a video 
I, I do have a video on deep conditioning and how I deep condition and what I use to deep condition and what my products are to deep condition and how to deep condition on my channel. I will leave a link down below or I'll leave a something up here that you can click so that way you can see how to deep condition because if you don't deep condition your hair will grow but it will not be healthy and you're just going to end up cutting it. Um, and I also get trims regularly so I trim, I go to get my hair trimmed every time I relax my hair. So yeah, so that is what I would say the most important thing for all types of hair, for relaxed, for natural, definitely relaxed hair, you need to condition your hair. So there's no secret to it, just leave your hair alone. Do not, I don't, yeah, and on top of that, I don't, I don't touch heat like that either. I touch heat when my hair is relaxed and it's straight and best believe I'm flat ironing in and everything. But when it's not relaxed, my hair is in a bun 90% of the time or 99% of the time. My hair is in a bun away from my face, away from whatever. And um, still co-washing still giving hair protein i work out four or five days a week and i drink a good bit of water um if you don't like water find a way to like water because water is your best friend and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this short little you know whatever but there is no secret just deep condition your hair leave your hair alone and put it in a bun